Hi all. This is Science of Again. Um, I've been urged by friends to again speak. I always thought the garden would speak for me, but some people have expressed an interest in understanding the denitrification pro process or the breakdown of the poop cycle into food for the plants. Of course, organic. Uh, fish poop, we all know that. The plants receive most of their trace elements from the actual food and the product that the fish does not absorb. So whatever is left over, eventually the plants get because the particular bacteria that we put in the beds breaks down the ammonia but leaves all the other trace elements alone and the plants are supposed to pick those up and of course process those into fruit so the basic process is bugs into the rock water flows through the rock the bugs adhere themselves to the wet portions of the rock as the poop water comes by the bugs attack the poop itself converting it into nitrites with an I. The nitrites are then further broke down again by other bacteria into nitrates. The nitrates are then absorbed by the plants. An equal balance provides equal nutrients. Um, of course this is all um, predicated by the fact that you have healthy fish eating normally. When you don't have that, you have an interruption in the natural food cycle for the plants. Of course plants are just plants and fish are fish, but they have a symbiotic relationship. There are multiple bugs as I have understood, and when I say bugs I mean microorganisms. There are multiple, multiple bugs that I now understand contribute to the process. It's not a mystery. And they have a whole field of study called EM. And hats off to someone who told me, I don't know who it is right now, but a very, very smart gentleman, I suppose, uh, tipped me to regular human uh, supplements that help uh, the digestive system. Um, some of us have seen it already. Um, in the form of yogurt that you can buy at the store. It's got a beneficial bacteria that gets into your stomach and or intestines, whatever, and um, assists with you breaking down blah, 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 minimizes stomach problems, blah, blah, blah. Well, same holds true for the fish. So these microorganisms that provide different services to the fish, and I guess you have to get it into them, so you have to dip their food in it or wash their food in it. So that's about all for the nitrification process, the poop, and the plants. What else could I say? I don't know how to edit, folks, so this is as good as it gets. I hope that helps understand the entire process um, as I'm learning it. There is much more, I'm sure, that I don't know. Dr. H-I-G-A of Japan, Haiga. Dr. Haiga of Japan, some university in Okinawa, Japan, where I spent about six years of my life, um, discovered what they call effective microorganisms, and they have now coined that EM. EM is a study of bacteria and microorganisms breaking down and cleaning all kinds of stuff and returning water to its good natural state prior to. Mansento, let's just say. Runoffs, whatever. I'm holding this camera rather close to my face and I'm projecting because when I talk about uh, organized foods, uh, resistant foods to bacteria, um, 
instead of using natural processes, they're manipulating genes so that a given food, animal, whatever, will not accept or can't, is more resistant to said strains of whatever this is. But the point is that they're manipulating genes as to, I guess, have better food. This can't be good. It's not natural. Plus, it's Mansento. So that's enough for me. I don't see where they're doing anything productive. So I don't know. That's it, folks. Thanks.